Hey guys, welcome back. This video, I'm going to show you how to import Office Click to Run 2016 administrator templates files. So the first thing you need to do is you want to create, if you're running in a lab, you want to make sure you create the group policy central store. So from the domain controller, you want to go to this folder here called Windows Sysvolve Policy Domain Policies. You want to copy everything except the folders with the GUID numbers. So I'm going to copy everything. So everything's highlighted except these two folders. Right click, go to copy. You want to copy it to Windows Policy Definition folder. You want to make sure you copy it to this Windows Definition Policy folder. Just right click and paste. I already copy it, so I'm just going to replace the files. Click continue. Oh, just going to skip if the files are already there. So that's it. That's for the step two. I'm sorry, step one. Step two, you're going to download the the administrative templates. So let's go to the browser. I'm going to type in office, click to run, GPO, administrate templates. So this is the link you want to download. I'm going to click OK. I mean, click that link. So I get to this. Click download. I'm going to download the X64. Not once. Save. Download has been completed. <laughs> now I go to open folder. So that is step two. So now I'm going to run it. Click OK. Click continue. I'm going to put it in. Make a new folder called 0365 GPO. Click OK. Success. Now I'm going to install Office Click to Run, but first I need to check my um, I need to check the GPO. Let's log into the GPO Pop Management. So I click on Edit Policy. As you can see here, there's no Office 2016, right? So I'm going to close it out and go back to the folder that I extracted. It's called 0365 GPO. I go to ADM folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to copy all these files, all the .admx and everything in English. Oops. Let's try again. Shift. And the folder in English. We'll right click. Copy. 
then I go back to policy definition folder I'm gonna paste it here right click paste continue so that is step that is step three step four let's create a test GPO objects so I'm here I'm gonna click a refresh here I'm going to create a new objects called office click to run we call this uh, monthly channel so I'm going to copy I'm going to create two policy. One is the monthly channel and create a new one called semi annual channel. All right. So I got two folders, uh, two objects here. Let's go to monthly objects, edit. I'm in policy, administrator tool templates. There it is. There's Office 2016 objects. Go to updates. Here's the setting you can play with. You want to make sure you. You don't have to configure this, it's got to automatically run. This policy has no effect of its product installed via Windows installer. So you can enable it, or if you don't configure it, it's automatically run anyway. So I just click, let's enable it. Um, so it's all up to you. You can enable or disable this. Um, I would just leave it alone, not configured. If you don't deploy through SCCM, you want to disable it. That's what it say. If you enable this policy, system system administration and other application cannot be managed by the client. So I just leave it alone, not configured. If you have SCCM in your environment. Just leave it unconfigured. Online repair, you don't need to do anything. Priority bits, let's talk about bits if you want to enable it or not. Uh, if you enable the bits features, it's going to use the bits technologies. So you can, you can enable it if you want. Click OK. Update channel. Since this is the monthly channel I want to make sure I choose monthly channel update deadline you can choose the deadline if you want to go on a certain day but you you have to remember each month you have to come in and change it update path you can configure your local um, UNC path but make sure you have to update um, the contents if you don't configure it, it's going to pull from Microsoft. Target version, you can specify the versions, but you have to change this every time. So I just leave it alone. So that's it. That's all I configure for auto updates um, for the monthly channel. Close it out. The semi channel, basically, you do the same thing. Policy, Administrator Tools. I'm going to expand this. Microsoft Office 2016 updates. So the channel here, you want to make sure you choose the semi annual channel. 
everything else I leave as default so that's it now the policy has been created all you have to do is enforce it and if you have any questions feel free to ask me any question I do my best to help you and thank you for watching